What's your name? My name is Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. Are you homeless right now? I'm a soldier. Are you homeless? Where's homeless? Uh, you don't have a house? I'm carrying a flag, a marriage flag. Okay. I'm, what, can I have a few questions? What's your favorite flag? The American flag. The? Yeah. What are you doing out here? Well, my, my parents, is, my dad's a president. <laughs> oh, I came over here to, uh, I didn't want it to rain so quickly. <laughs> How old are you? 37. 37? I go to school. Do you? Yeah. What are you going to school for? I went to school for the Gord, Gordy truck, not to drive it, but for money. Just dig around, but yeah, I was trying to be calm. I was hoping, uh, well, you know, a lot of dudes say they like me, so sorry I'm too slow or something. Yeah. Where are you going right now? Uh, I wanted to get the purchase right here for a bit. There's one of those tacos that are still behind the tortillas factory, you know? Have, have you had something to eat today? No. No. We can get you something from in there. Why would I try to bother you and your people and your family? Do you have any family out here? My family's not, my family's uh, not allowed to uh, stay the night with me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not going to jump in their bed, but no, I'm allowed to just live on it and all. And time goes by real quick sometimes. Sometimes it makes you feel crazy, and I'm not crazy, but when people's lives still and all, and things always go well, it's like, for me, like, I keep it so right and it's like, you know, it's getting more crazy. Like, you know, that college and you know, all. I quit my bachelor's degree because I got a few of them at least. And it's a big lies and it's the opposite. And it makes me look like an hobo bum and I'm not a loser. I don't, I, I, I have my money and I, I uh, invest it in the hospital. And it's something with my garage and they stole everything. They stole everything from me? Yeah, right, right, ready, like about like, three, uh, three, about four hours ago. Yeah. And it looked real weird. It looked like I was playing with Play Doh and Play Doh because I asked y'all to come in anyways. But it was like, I, I don't want y'all to have certain feelings that y'all never had in your life because you're innocent to me. And so, you know, even though that somebody says I'm crazy or I look like a hubba bum, I'm not going to answer that question because uh, it's so awkward. I'm active, you know. And I know I just want to make sure my dad's saving. I know that I'll be very, very, of course. But when they say a certain hotel is for a certain day, you know, the days are going to die there, the days are going to die there, you know, the accurate, you know. There's no way any, any subject of white male and all, or like, look down. Yeah, I go, I took two showers last night and I said, well, I got up out of there and I really wanted to clean the gas station. I was taking that, but I was like, man, I just kept looking at it. I was like, man, they just kept doing the shit like on the whole business stuff. So I just came over here to this area just now and I've never been here before. you never been in this area before? No. Not right here, no. And how did you end up here? Um, an 18 wheeler gave me a ride. Gave you a ride? I got drafted here for the NBA court. I shit over in there. I was a teacher there, I learned to be a first-person in the Reddit for Oregon Academy's first announcement in the year. So wh where are you going to sleep tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Well, I mean, I would, uh, that's, you know, it's, uh, well, I'm probably at a bus stop. At a bus stop? And that's a, I like that question because uh, I can feel and sense. I'm being disgusting. 
And now it is sitting like every, you know, I'm, I'm glad you asked me this question because it is so awkward. Yeah, I'm not glad I said motherfuckers heads off. Mostly in particular, they mainly these motherfucking dudes and chicks and all that stuff in the hopper, our family and all. Not necessarily yours, but yeah. <laughs> People that do work, you know, justices and all. Innocent bystanders. But uh, there's, there's friends and all this family. They knew about a certain subject, in particular, a body being dragged. And they knew about the scent being in the, in, in the walls. And they was, and uh, what's even weirder is that, that they helped paint it to fix stucco. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Plastered it. And that's, that's fucking weird, dog, because they look like innocent. I mean, like, not that they look like, like and I go, what? You can just, and now I can just smell it. This is disgusting. Like, wow. I'd rather sit back in this. I've never lived really What was that? A body? Uh, my house being renovated. Uh, <laughs> by a uh, chef, Rena chef. Let's say a uh, uh, stuck uh, fiberglass. Yeah. Fiber optic. Yeah, these ones that they, they say that all these things, all these tires, the rims, all these falling. Uh, yeah. Because I can smell it. They never chew no bubble gum. Uh, in particular, I'm just gonna be straight up frank. They don't have any blunt history. I'm talking about a cigar blunt. Uh, a weird, they flick marbles, they do some weird marbles, and, and people's hats, and hair, and I'm saying in particular, bubble gum. But did they ever give them a bubble gum tape? And then that's illegal to, to discriminate against an American, an American, not and a non-American. And so, but man, if somebody fucks with me, dog, I'm gonna take that away. Yeah, that would be a problem I'm take. <laughs> so I know my rights quite well, yeah. Is it? I guess my dad was the president. Yeah. Yeah, I said shot myself twice when I was little. Did you? Yeah. With what, BB gun or? Uh, then, yeah, because the teacher, they, they said, I'm going to have to. It was good, though. I learned the plane for gasoline because uh, they said that I was going to die of a brain injury because I was born premature. Were you? Yeah, and I got this head. I used to get this head. It would hurt so bad. And uh, my my uh, adopted mother, you know, out of, out of Donald Trump's, uh, you know, my dad's Jeff K. the fourth. They was looking for, and he had these two probate centers, you know, they was looking for him for the truck. That was April and Zane, you know, and then there's Nikki. Anyhow, they the angels. April, I mean, uh, she's there and all, but yeah, I mean, they from real young, real young. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, uh, there had to be so many fucking personnel people, because I used to go to walk-in pain management specialist. Yeah. And now I'm a board, I mean, excuse me. I mean, that's right where we're at, right here, is a walk-in pain management specialist. And I respect that. That's what we need to pay attention to. Yeah, because uh, these individuals, these, these uh, older folks, the 60 and some, but it says 60 on a vehicle, vehicular and all. I mean, it don't matter about, and a bubblegum tape goes first though, but they assign for it, see? There what do you have in your hand right there? Pineapple. Pineapple. All right. Um, I have a wine bottle necklace. Okay. I earned it. And not to mention the fact I'm, I'm the owner of the title. But uh, uh, I thought maybe I wanted to drive and all. And um, yeah, like I'm gonna drive and live on my own. It's weird because to live, I mean, people want to rock me. People want to rock. I mean, it's scary. Out here, is it dangerous out here? No, it's not dangerous anywhere. It's dangerous if you don't treat your hair correctly. <laughs> if you don't treat your brain and your hair follicles correctly from the beginning of your church area life, or start now, you're going to be fucked, you know what I mean? Because the law stays with a uh, pencil and eraser and all, and that's it. Because they're going to go to kindergarten class. It's not ever going to be the same, though. Gloria. Thank you for the interview. I really do appreciate it, man. Yeah. All right, That's just man. my opinion, though.
Say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye. I don't know. Uh, I'm still here on Triple X, dog. All right. Thank you. Go to one dog watch and give us cash pay and inside is the There goes Victoria right there. Hopefully she goes in there and gets something to eat, man.